Hello children. This afternoon we're going to learn the smart rules for staying safe online with the adventures of Smarty the Penguin. Here are various things that you might like to do online. You might watch Peppa Pig. You might play on your iPad, you might go on YouTube, you might use a, a gaming machine like a PlayStation or a DSi. You could um, search for different things using Google, many different things that you can do online children, but you do need to know how to stay safe while you're online. So this is the story of the adventures of Smarty the Penguin. It was late at night and Smarty the Penguin was wide awake. He was too excited to sleep because tomorrow was his birthday. He was really hoping that he would be given a new tablet. The big day came and Smarty had really enjoyed his birthday party. He had saved his most exciting looking present until the end. Oh, I really hope this is a tablet of my own, he thought as he began to open it. Smarty tore off the wrapping paper in a hurry. Mummy and Daddy Penguin had brought him a brand new tablet. Just what he wanted. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Smarty's parents enjoy using the internet and are always there to help Smarty. Smarty was allowed to play a game on his tablet once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Mummy Penguin helped Smarty to find his favourite game and he was off. Everything was going really well and Smarty was having a super time when all of a sudden something very strange happened. A picture popped up onto the screen. It was colourful and Smarty didn't know what to do. How annoying, said Smarty. I'm in the middle of my game. I know I'll get rid of the picture by tapping on the red cross. Smarty tapped the red cross, but an even bigger picture appeared. Hold on, said Smarty. I don't remember entering any competitions. Did I spend some money by accident? I know that that can happen sometimes. Oh no, I hope Mummy and Daddy won't be upset. Oh no, what happened? Can you help Smarty to make the right decision? Should he try to fix the problem by himself and get rid of the picture again? Or should he ask his parents for help? Take the time to hear to have a chat to your grown-up or to your teacher. Help! cried Smarty. Help! Daddy! Mummy, please help me. Something's gone terribly wrong. I pressed the button and now there's a funny picture on my screen and I don't know what it means. Well done, Smarty, said Daddy Penguin. What a sensible little penguin you are. Well done for coming to tell us and not trying to fix it by yourself again. Mummy Penguin was so pleased with what Smarty had done, she taught him a song to help him make sensible choices on the internet in the future. Sing with me. Before you tap and click, click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Mummy Penguin deleted the picture that had popped up and Smarty continued to play on his tablet. The next morning, Smarty rushed downstairs to play a game online. Daddy Penguin was already up and about reading his newspaper in the kitchen. Smarty went on to the internet, but something had changed. This wasn't right. Smarty was very confused. Hang on a minute. 
he thought to himself. I know what's happened. My big brother Bertie has been using my tablet without asking me. Smarty knew that this was a website for much older children and wasn't sure what he might see. He thought that he might know what to do to find his favourite game on which buttons to press. But on the other hand, he wasn't too sure. What should Smarty do? Should he try to find the right website by himself or should he ask for help? Talk to your grown-up now, please, children, or to your teacher about what Smarty should do next to stay safe online. Let's help Smarty to make the right decision by singing Mummy's Penguin Song. One, two, three. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Help! shouted Smarty. Mum, Dad, please help me. I'm trying to find my game, but Bertie changed it. Help! Smarty, replied Peng Mummy Penguin, you are a superstar. You did just the right thing by asking for help and not trying to find the website by yourself. Mummy Penguin helped Smarty get back to his game and everything was fine again. Later, that, later on that afternoon, can you guess what Smarty was doing? Sorry children, I just had to plug the computer in before it died before the battery ran out. Can you guess what Smarty was doing? That's right, Smarty was back playing online with his friends, trying to get to the top of the leaderboard. He was getting better and better at his favourite game. All of a sudden, the other players started saying unkind things and being mean to Smarty's friend Percy. One player said, You're not very good at this game, are you? Ha ha ha! You're not very good. The other player continued to talk. I don't want you playing our game anymore, they teased. Percy quickly left the game and Smarty felt sad. He didn't understand why they were being so mean to Percy. What should Smarty do? Should he just ignore the messages and do nothing? Or should he tell Mummy and Daddy instead? Time to chat now, children. Have a talk to your parent or your grown-up or to your teacher, please. What should Smarty do in this situation? Let's help Smarty to make the right decision by singing his special song. One, two, three. Before you tap and click, you need to stop and think and tell someone. Daddy Penguin, Mummy Penguin, called Smarty. The other players are being mean to Percy and not letting him join our game. What shall I do? Oh, Smarty, you've been so sensible, said Daddy Penguin. Unfortunately, not everyone is nice on the internet and sometimes other players can say mean things. If this happens to you or one of your friends, then you should always tell us as there are lots of buttons to help you. Block, report and mute. Remember, it is just as important to be nice to someone online as it is in the real world. We want everyone to feel welcome and happy when using the internet. From that day on, Smarty the Penguin always knew how to be safe when using his tablet and playing on the internet. If anything happened that made him feel worried, upset or confused, he didn't try to fix things by himself. He stopped, thought about what to do and always asked an adult for help. Sing with me again, children, before you tap and click. You need to stop and think and tell someone. 
Smarty's message to you. I am very lucky because I have Mummy and Daddy Penguin to help me. But who can help you? Talk to your parent now or your grown-up or to your teacher about who you could ask for help if you had a pop-up come up onto your screen or if somebody was being mean to you online or if, or if somebody was trying to talk to you online. Who could you talk to? Who could help you? The end.